Larry Post of Train Express, one of the country's largest Lionel mail-order dealers, stopped by TM's national headquarters on his way back from Lionel, where he had just reviewed Lionel Book Two for 1993. Well, it's obvious by looking at the catalogs, both Book One and Book Two, that there is an emphasis to move away from the high-end collector pieces, especially the very expensive ones. We see this in viewing the catalogs by the number of different engines offered and at a lower price. And we see it especially at the introductory level train sets with the best features we've ever had at the lowest price we've ever had in modern times. And uh, Lionel seems to be committed to going to this direction uh, and we think it's the proper direction to go. The New York Central Flyer set is priced lower than last year's Coastal Limited and also has a whistle. It's going to have more features and it's going to come out at a lower price. To me, that's a great mix for success at any level. The steam engine is going to be changed from gray to black. The boxcar will probably be silver if Lenny Dean gets his way. And the bulkhead flat will either be green or yellow. At the introductory level, at the beginner sale point, uh, it seems like the children or the adults always want a black steam engine with a red caboose. This Santa Fe set that's offered, uh, it's a home run, a real winner. We think that Lionel should have a passenger set in their line every year. Santa Fe obviously is going to be a good seller. Uh, the initial orders on this are superb. It is the best selling set out of the 93 catalog so far. It seems that there's a strong desire to have a passenger set in the line by our customers. And uh, we get so many, so many requests for it that we think it should be available every year. And it's been a couple of years since Lionel's offered the 027 passenger cars. In addition to the three car set, Lionel is offering for separate sale a matching dummy A unit with horn and three additional passenger cars. There's also a die-cast steamer with Santa Fe markings, which could them, also go with the cars. That they offer a Santa Fe marked observation car for separate sale as well to potentially go with the Santa Fe marked separate sale steam engine. I think that would make a nice set for them this year. Lionel's good selection of relatively inexpensive sets is an attempt to attract new customers. There seem to be more and more people out there buying train sets for the first time. And we need to concentrate on that, take these customers by the hand, make sure that all their needs are answered, uh, take time to answer even what may appear to us to be questions less than the brightest. And we, we have to remember that these are going to be our future collectors and hopefully ongoing customers for the future. You mean there are kids who prefer toy trains to Nintendo? Absolutely. We never see enough of them, but we're seeing more than what we have in the last four or five years. We see more in the last two years constructing layouts than we have over the last five to ten years. And we, we view that as a real positive sign as well. Occasionally, set components are sold separately. The Conrail Consolidated train set, it's a nice train set. It's uh, pretty much with the times. It's going to appeal to a lot of customers. We think it's going to have a nice breakup value for us. That is, sell the cars independent of each other. They're going to be boxed separately, which will, will help us do that. Lionel has reintroducing the Berkshire as we all remember it. Uh, this year it's going to be the Pierre Marquette Martins. It's a very nice engine. It's a series of uh, Madison style cars to go with it. We're a little concerned about the price, but regardless of the price, there will be customers out there for it. The toy train hobby? It is a 60 minute video quarterly devoted to every aspect of tin plating. Four times a year, in the spring, summer, fall, and winter, you will receive a complete program about toy trains. 
Nothing about the hobby is ignored in the toy train review. No story is too big or too small to escape the probing, entertaining style of producers James Toohey and Tom McComas, whose previous work has made them the toast of toy train videos. The Toy Train Review is the start of something historic, and now is your opportunity to be part of it. Become a subscriber on a yearly basis and save money, and be eligible for special offers. Or buy the Toy Train Review separately as each issue comes out.